Yo, it's your boy Dragons of Thunder and I'm back with another video. I'm live and direct from the living room. Well, family room, not the living room. Um, I got my girl Naga right here and my boy, my boy uh, Titus. Just got back from the barbershop, man. As you can see, I got on my Avatar shirt. The last airbender, man. I love that show. So, I want to talk to you guys. There we go. There go my tidy body. I'm my boy. Yes, I'm me. Yes, I'm the good boy. Huh. You know that daddy. You know your daddy. Anyway, um, I want to talk about today's video. I want to talk about Bearded Dragon mental health. A lot of people don't even think about it. They overlook it and uh, they never discuss it. So I want to talk about Bearded Dragon mental health today. So today I got Naga, as you can see, and I wanted to talk to you guys about just leaving your bearded dragon inside of their terrarium all day. Um, your bearded dragon has a great mind. And uh, with that said, I've seen my dragons do problem solving with doors, um, getting out the tub, um, watching one another do something, jump down from the couch. Um, when we're riding in the car, um, sometime, even when they have to poop, sometimes even when they have to poop, my dragons will get off of me or they will try to get off of me and I'll keep putting them on me and then they'll poop on me. But ultimately they try to get off me. So bearded dragons do problem solve and they are smarter than what most people think. Um, with them having that brain capacity. You have to wonder, you know, if a bearded dragon sits in a tank all day, what is it going through, you know, mentally? What is it thinking about? Um, does it get more sleepier, um, appetite, um, activity levels, things like that? Now, especially if you have a 40 gallon tank, you have a 40 gallon breeder, that bearded dragon can't really do much. That dragon can't run jump i mean he can but not like in a four by two by two now a four by two by two is minimum i honestly think they can be in a five by three by three six by three by three eight by four by two eight by four by three they can go in something bigger they really can and they would use all the space i i have watched all my dragons that's that's in four by two by twos i've watched all of them and they use every single inch of that tank. Now, on a mental level, if your dragon isn't getting out, um, free roaming, exploring, um, if you don't play games with it, like sometimes when you feed your dragon, instead of just giving it the food, you can, I've talked about it a lot, you can build like a ramp, a slanted ramp, and you can put the food on top, place the dragon back down at the bottom, have them run up to get it. And it's pretty fun to watch that because they'll do something different each time. It might be repetitive, but you get to see different, uh, you get to see different actions and different uh, facial expressions. Like they might look at it funny the next time or they might think about it, things like that. Also, um, when you take them on journeys to the store, most people, there's a lot of people that want to hold bearded dragons. And so by doing that, um, you can give them time with bonding with other humans. So that's good for their mental. That also can be bad for their mental too, because you can do it too much. Now you have to know your dragon and understand your dragon. When your dragon shows you body language of being tired, fed up, then don't do it. You know what I mean? Until you see those signs, go ahead and get active with your dragon and uh, let people hold them and pet them and rub them. So today, Naga went with me to Irving, Texas to pick up some Dubia roaches. And uh, she was held by four people, 7-Eleven, uh lady 
working the register, somebody in the store, the breeder, the Dubia breeder, and then on my way back, my friend, Chin, Charles, whoever, whatever the name you want to use, he's African. But he held him, so, held her. So she had interaction today. She's kind of tired, been out in the sun a little bit. But um, you do want to give your bearded dragon some kind of level of activity. You don't want to just always cuddle or have them sitting in their tank. You know what I mean? Because honestly, these bearded dragons do get depression. They get stressed out. You see that everybody knows about the stress, but everybody doesn't know about the heavy depression, the depression, uh, things like that. Even anxiety. Um, you know, they just, they their brain capacity is way more than what people give them. So be thoughtful, be mindful, try to make up some games that you can play with your bearded dragon. Also, get your bearded dragon outside to free roam a little bit. Um, you have to gain trust with your bearded dragon, and you have to be able to give them free roam. If you can't give them free roam, then it's something you're doing wrong. Also, and if you can't give them free roam, then give them some kind of big enclosure outside. Um, you can get a dog kennel like with the little hole, hole with the little gate. The gate holes, not the big ones, but the little chain link, um, the chicken uh, wire. You know what I'm saying? You can use all kind of stuff. Um, even big sheets of uh, material like wood, PVC. You can frame it out and make big, big, uh, big play pins and things like that. So you want to keep the activity level up for your bearded dragon. That's all I'm saying, man. You got to think about it. If you were in a jail cell all day with nothing in it but some newspaper, a toilet, and a sink, and a bed, you would go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Think about that. So, something else, too, on a mental note. You have to give them stuff to climb in their enclosure. A lot of people clown me and say, oh, that look like a tank for a gecko or a monitor or this and that. And I'm like, y'all must don't really pay attention to y'all's bearded dragon or y'all really don't understand your bearded dragon because they use all of that stuff. Um, give them something to climb on, at least one or two big logs. Um, their basking platform should be something they climb on. You know what I mean? Uh, little wood logs that they can jump over, things like that. Um, if you see my tanks, you know I got a lot of stuff for my dragons to do. And I don't ever really just see my dragons being bored. You know, they might be relaxing and things like that, but I don't see them just looking miserable. Um, I've seen pictures of dragons looking miserable. So think about the mental health of the animal when you set up your uh, terrarium. Think about the mental health of your animal when uh, you get outside. Think about the mental health of your animal just period. You know what I'm saying? Like give them some exercise to do, give them some kind of activity, you know? Um, you just don't want a depressed animal. Even my dog here, Titus, if we didn't take him out for walks or play with him around the house, play tug of war with him, he would go into a depression. Like that's facts. So, um, do more with your animal. Your bearded dragon is smarter than what you think. Remember that your bearded dragon is way smarter than what you think. Um, Naga's still not eating. Um, she was on her fast for seven days. And so now I basically killed her appetite. She don't, she don't want to eat anything. So um, I'll give her a couple of more days, a few more days. And if she don't eat nothing on her own, then I'll give her something. But yeah, man, make up some games. See if you can get like some racing going. Uh, do switch games. Do mind games where you hide the food under a cup. Move it around. You know what I'm saying? And let them decide what cup the worm is under. You can do three cups with that. Put one worm down and put a cup. Switch the cups around. And they can pick out the uh, 
the right cup that has the worm. So it's a lot you can do with your bearded dragon. Don't let your bearded dragon go into a depression. That's all I'm saying. Thrash that like, pound the subscribe, pound the subscribe. I got some, uh, follow my Instagram, at Dragons of Thunder and my TikTok. I got some t-shirts coming up. If you guys are interested, I probably make 40 or 30 on the first run. And uh, you guys let me know in the comments if you would buy one of my t-shirts. I posted them in my story on Facebook and uh, Instagram. So if you would buy a Dragons of Thunder t-shirt, let me know. Um, that way I can know a certain number to order. I don't want to order too many and uh, be stuck with paying for them. But I know my family going to wear some, so it's all good. But giveaway will be done on the next video probably. If not the next one, then the one after that. But it will be done this week. And I just wanted to talk about Bearded Dragon um, mental health. So get your dragons active, have fun, and y'all be blessed. Stay tuned, hit the bell, share my sh. Please share my sh. And uh, that's it, man. I'm out. Thrash like, pound, and subscribe. I'm Matty 5000. It's your boy, Dragons of Thunder.